my name is Justine Overacker. Thank you for stopping by my poster. I just wanted to acknowledge my co-authors before we begin. Our research had two main goals. The first was to test position windows immediately before and after an earthquake, which is used to estimate earthquake offset magnitude in a given GPS time series for a given earthquake. The second was to apply this offset estimation strategy and the position window strategy to the entirety of Nevada Geodetic Laboratory's GPS holdings globally. For the position window testing that we did, I wanted to show you an example from the 2019 magnitude 7.1 Ridgecrest earthquake from GPS station ACSB near San Diego. So for a single station affected by a single earthquake greater than or equal to magnitude 5.5, we calculate 900 horizontal values per matrix for offsets, formal uncertainties, and RMS misfits in between the time interval between 1 and 30 days before the earthquake and 1 and 30 days after the earthquake. We normalize RMS misfit and we normalize formal uncertainty before summing them to find the minimum position window time interval combination in days before and after an earthquake with the lowest value. The optimal time interval combination is applied to the offset magnitude matrix to find the value of the earthquake offset at a given station for a given event. See the poster for statistics on the global breakdown of optimal position window intervals. Moving on to our second research goal, we look at the GPS earthquake global catalog. The Nevada Geodetic Laboratory processes data for over 19,000 GPS stations worldwide. 7,361 GPS stations are affected by earthquakes since January 1, 1994. Those stations account for over 60,000 possible earthquake offsets total. 13,668 earthquakes, magnitude 5.5 or greater, were recorded in the USGS NEIC catalog between January 1, 1994 and July 10, 2021. 2,721 of these earthquakes were recorded by at least one GPS station, meaning approximately 20% of earthquakes worldwide were detected by GPS. 51,073 offsets were estimated for these events. Visit the poster to view some earthquake catalog statistics. And come talk with me if you have any questions.